Hello everyone, welcome to Sailor School. I hope that you all are safe and sound. In this video, we'll be learning on how bulk carrier cargo hold is prepared or washed before loading any cargo. And procedures and precautions related to hold preparation will be also explained. Make sure that you watch the first two videos that I made on bulk carrier introduction and IMSBC code for better understanding of bulk carriers. By the end of this video, you will be able to differentiate the structures in cargo hold and describe step by step hold preparation procedure. You will also get to know on what precautions must be taken during hold washing. Okay, the first topic we will be discussing about will be on structures of cargo hold. Before you start learning about hole cleaning procedures, you must be familiar with some terms that are used to indicate different regions on cargo hold. Now I will show you some pictures that will help you to visualize the cargo hold from top to bottom in an orderly manner. Once we are done with this, then we will start discussing about cargo hold preparation, hatch cover and hatch combing. Hatch cover is used to keep the cargo hold weather tight. And hatch combing is a structure that is used to elevate the hatch cover from the main deck. Means the vertical distance between the base of the hatch cover from the main deck, that part of the structure is known as hatch combing. Whenever the cargo is loaded, some dust is created during the loading or discharging operation. This dust will get settled on frames and other structures present in or near the cargo hold. Even this small amount of dust must also be cleaned to keep cargo hold spick and span and ready for uh, cargo hold inspection. We can only enter the cargo hold through the booby hatch present at forward and aft of each cargo hold. This booby hatch is also in weather tight arrangement. They have rubber packing and butterfly nuts to maintain its weather tightness. Void spaces. There will be an empty compartment situated between the booby hatch entrance and the ladder that allows you to reach down below the cargo hold. If you ask me what is the purpose of this void space, actually I also don't know. But I personally feel that this empty space is just for reserve buoyancy of a ship because they do not have any particular purpose. So if you really know the reason for the location of this void space situated inside the cargo hold, then please comment below. Inspection platforms, as the name itself suggests that these are just platforms present in the outward ship direction. They are present in both forward and aft in the cargo hold. These platforms are just used as a means to inspect cargo hold. The view from these platforms will convince the hold inspector that there is no cargo residue remaining on any frames inside the cargo hold. Ladders Ladders are the only means of access to the cargo holds. Every cargo hold has one Australian ladder and one vertical ladder. The vertical ladder is welded to the forward bulkhead of the cargo hold and they have intermediate platforms which helps the personnel using it to take rest in between while using it. Australian ladder also known as spiral ladder is a spiral staircase that is welded in the corrugation of the half bulkhead in the cargo hold. These days in most of the ship the Australian ladder is protected by a metal structure so that it prevents any damage during the cargo operation. Lower hoppers it is a sloped bulkhead that joins tank top to the cargo hold bulkhead. Upper hopper is a sloped bulkhead joining cargo hold bulkhead and the hatch cover combing. Side frame structure. These are just bulkhead in the port and starboard side of the cargo hold. They have long vertical frames that are uniformly welded on them and these are done for additional strengthening and protection of side shell. Tank top. It is a base of the cargo hold on which the entire weight of the cargo act upon. Water ballast tanks are situated just below the tank top. Cargo hold bilges. This is an important structure in the cargo hold and they have pipeline for pumping out water that enters the cargo hold. I hope that now you have gained knowledge on various cargo hold structures. 
Now we will be looking into whole cleaning procedures. Do you know what are the factors that determine to which level the hold must be cleaned? Means the level of cleanliness that is required in a cargo hold after washing. Only two things affect the level of cleanliness. Previous cargo means cargo that was discharged and the next cargo means cargo that is to be loaded. Grain cargo requires high level of cleanliness and after that cargo such as alumina, urea and some other types of cargo they also require almost similar level to that of grain cargo and cargo claims can be easily made if the color of the cargo deteriorates. And in the last place lies the dirty cargo such as iron ore, coal which does not have any standards regarding cleanliness but still hold must be washed prior loading them. The only chance to skip hold cleaning is when same grade of dirty cargo is loaded back to back. Other than that, hold cleaning must be done after every cargo discharging. Hold cleaning can be successfully completed if you follow these 5 simple steps. Removal of cargo residues, sea water wash of cargo hold, fresh water wash of cargo hold, drying of cargo hold and the last bilge cleaning. Sweeping and removal of cargo residues. Cargo residues that are present in the cargo hold should be swept using brooms and all the cargo residues must be piled up together and they must be lifted off from the cargo hold using a demucking winch. Demucking winch is just a small portable pneumatic winch which is used particularly for removal of cargo residues from cargo hold. Please refer to Marpole discharge criteria if you are not sure whether to discharge cargo overboard or not. Sweeping of cargo residues is a very important task because dry cargo is much easier to be lifted off than the wet cargo. So try to remove as much as you can when the cargo residues are in dry condition. Or if possible, when the cargo is being discharged at the terminal, try to convince the dock workers to remove the entire cargo residues. Washing the hatch cover and cargo hold using seawater. Cargo hold must always be washed from top to bottom in an orderly manner. Washing starts from top of hatch cover, then hatch cover, hatch combing, underside hatch covers and then inspection platform areas. Next you should start washing from booby hatches, ladders and later cargo hold bulkheads, frames must be washed using a combi gun. Combi gun is nothing but an equipment that uses compressed air and pressurized water from the fire line. Combination of these two sources create a jet spray of water that can reach great heights of the cargo hold. And they also can remove any cargo residues present on bulkheads. Once washing of all four sides of the cargo hold are completed, tank top is washed from forward to aft direction so that water can enter the cargo hold bilges. Fresh water wash of cargo hold once seawater washing is done and the cargo hold is left undisturbed for some time so that all the seawater from the bulkheads drips down on the tank top. Next a fresh water wash is sprayed on all parts of the cargo hold. Benefits of fresh water spray is that they help to fasten the drying procedure of cargo hold and they prevent any salt formation and also they will reduce the corrosion that takes place inside the cargo hold. Drying of cargo hold. Cargo holds must be completely dry before the ship reaches the terminal. As cargo hold inspection is the first task at hand once the gangway is made fast. Without hold inspection there will be no cargo operation taking place. Suppose if the ship is at a cold region then drying of cargo holds will be very slow. At such situations try to use deck care for drying tank top and other cargo hold structures. You might feel that what I am telling you is not a practical idea. But there is no other option left at hand except using deck care. Now, after many loading and discharging done on any ship, the tank top will start to develop dents. This is due to payloaders and grabs hitting the tank top during the cargo operation. So these dents accumulate water. Make sure to remove the water or use a mop to spread the water evenly so that it dries off faster. Bilge cleaning. Bilges are the only possible way in where the hold wash water can be pumped out. But there will be some unpumpable water left out in the cargo hold bilges. This unpumpable quantity of water must be removed manually using scoop and sponge. 
cleaning of bilges and keeping them completely dry is known as sweetening of bilges. Once the bilges are dry, cover the strainer plate using a jute bag that is also known as burlap. This burlap prevents entry of cargo inside the bilge, but only it allows water to seep inside. Now if you have any questions like how cargo bilges function and can we pump out cargo directly from the bilges and what happens if bilges are not holding and what to do if the bilges stop pumping water from the cargo hold. So answers to all these questions will be explained in my next video that I'll be doing especially on cargo hold bilges and hatch covers. Now to the last topic of this video, precautions during hold cleaning. Many of you might feel bored but still watch this part of video as I'll be explaining some important stuff right now. Hole cleaning is a job that must be done no matter what the weather condition is. Even if there is rolling, hole cleaning must be completed in the correct time. When you open the hatch cover, try to take extra lashing using chain blocks. Just don't depend on the securing pins of the hatch cover. When you are using demarking winch to pick up or drop down anything inside the cargo hold, make sure that no one is right below the suspended weight. Below means not directly below but in the proximity area. Stuffing the cargo inside the bilge and try to flushing it seems easier. But please don't do such act because if the bilge pipeline gets choked then there will be some severe consequences after that. When you are using combi gun for hold washing, just remember that you are not some superhero holding a rocket launcher. As if you accidentally use it on any person, it can severely injure the victim and sometimes can kill them also. And finally, try to walk steady and slow as wet surfaces can make you slip and fall. Falling on a metal surface from height can split you open like a Humpty Dumpty who had a great fall. Always wear proper PPE and warm clothing. Use parkas and other water resistant clothing to keep yourself dry. Use safety harness or other safety gear when you climb or work aloft. Keep yourself secure to at least one point at all times. Make sure that everyone is out of the cargo hold before closing it. And when operating the hatch cover, make sure that there is nothing on tracks of hatch cover. At last, don't forget to take photos of your daily work done. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. In my next video, we will look at how cargo holds are inspected, draft survey and cargo operations. Please subscribe to my channel Sailor School for more informative content and guys stay safe.